welcome back to my channel. I don't think I have ever done a sit down skincare video before, so I thought I would do one, especially since I have been talking to you guys about my skin a lot in my vlogs. As you know, I was having the worst breakouts that I've ever had for the past two years. It's like night and day now that I didn't want to vlog, I didn't want to get my picture taken. I was just, I was embarrassed to even go anywhere. I've actually not gotten a pimple in two months. This video is for all of you guys who are having breakouts and you just don't know why and you're willing to do anything to try to help them. Um, it's also for you guys who don't really have breakouts but you still want to maintain a healthy um, and like glowing and radiant skin. I thought I would sit down with you and share my top 10 tips and tricks on how I got rid of my breakouts and how I've been maintaining healthy skin for the past two months. So we'll go ahead and get started. Well, number one is to keep your face clean and I know this is so cliche and you're like duh but actually keep your face clean. Actually wash your face two times a day and you know what that is easier said than done. The thing is not to be too harsh so if you love to exfoliate like I do I love nothing more than a fresh clean smooth face do not over exfoliate because that can cause inflammation which can make your breakouts even worse. If you're using a cloth or a tool I use a tool. Um, don't don't press too hard. I know it kind of feels like you're getting more if you're pressing hard, but doing it gently will give you great results. So don't feel the need to scrub the top layer of your skin off. I used to do that and I used to literally like make myself bleed. I would be in the mirror thinking, oh my gosh, okay, I need a band-aid. <laughs> Number two is to wash your face once a day with an over-the-counter acne um, cleansing wash. And I actually use the Peter Thomas Roth acne cleansing wash and I absolutely love this stuff because it does not dry out my skin. A lot of acne washes do dry out your skin but this one actually gives me not a moisturizing feeling by any means but it doesn't give me that dry like cracky feeling you know when you open your mouth and it feels like your skin is just crumbling down. And number three is to moisturize your skin because these acne facial washes as I said earlier can be really drying to your skin so you want to make sure you're using an oil or a moisturizer. Know your skin type, know what your skin likes and doesn't like. I use the Youth to the People um, Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid in the morning and then I use my Curology at night which has completely turned my skin around like crazy. When I do moisturize, I use this guy from Vanity Planet. It is the Forever Young Hot and Cold Rejuvenating Facial Wand. It has a hot, cool, and sonic setting. The hot setting is to um, open up your pores. That way your moisturizer is really sinking in. It's getting in every pore. It's maximizing um, your product. You know, you don't want to spend a lot of money on product and it not all get inside of your pores and really soak into your skin. A cool setting actually does two things. It helps lock in, it closes your pores, it locks everything in, it um, tightens your skin, and it reduces puffiness. So that's awesome because every time I wake up in the morning, I am so puffy. I turn this guy on cold and puffiness gone. It's like an eraser. I love it. And then the sonic setting is good for underneath your eyes. It causes a slight vibration. So it really helps um, lock in your moisturizer in your eye. And since your eye is so sensitive, it's the most sensitive part of your face. You want to make sure you're being super gentle. Um, and this is really nice and soft right here. Really smooth. But I love this thing. It's like a luxury, like, facial at home. Um, it's $200, but I do have a coupon code for you guys thanks to Vanity Planet, and it is Forever Ashley. It'll get you 70% off, and it'll all be in the description box for you, so go get it and use the code. I just want to thank uh, Vanity Planet for sending this over. They sent it over a while ago, and I've been using it for like a month and a half now, and I absolutely love it, so thank you guys for collaborating with me. Um, I love all of their products, and this one definite win. I recommend using something with like um, glycolic acid, lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, or um, salicylic acid, or benzoyl peroxide. That's a good one too. So as long as you're using something, some sort of acne fighting ingredient in your moisturizer or oil, you should be good. Lastly, when it comes to moisturizer in your skincare routine, don't overdo it. Trust me, I used to be one of those girls who had two cleansing products, an oil, a moisturizer, something for this, something for this. Keep it simple. Just use one thing, maybe two. You do not need to be piling on six different moisturizers. Do your research, find out what is good for your skin type, and just stick with that. Number four is to use your makeup sparingly. I know a lot of us, you know, when we go to work, we want to, you know, put on a fresh, fresh face uh, of makeup, and um, a lot of us love makeup and love experimenting with it. But on your days off, you know, put the makeup down, go fresh face, like give your face a rest. Even if you're going out that night, maybe let your face rest during the day. I have no problem like going out in public uh, without makeup on. 
I know that's it's it's like a culture thing. I, after talking to a lot of you guys, you always tell me how in your cultures makeup isn't you know a priority, and every everyone leaves the house without makeup. Sometimes when I go out and I don't wear makeup, or even if I vlog and I'm not wearing makeup, people ask me if I'm sick or tired, and I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I'm just not wearing makeup. You Ask. Yeah, don't be afraid to just let your skin breathe. Your skin loves it when you don't wear makeup. And number five is wash your brushes. I wash my brushes once a week and I might be overdoing it, I don't know, but I wash them once a week because they just get so much makeup on them, so much bacteria collects, they touch each other. I even wash the ones that I don't use because I know the ones that I do use touch those, so I wash them all. I just use, I know they make, make a makeup brush cleanser, but I just use Johnson & Johnson baby soap or my Miss Myers um, dishwashing soap. So whatever you prefer, um, try different methods, see what works for you, just make sure you're doing it right so you don't ruin your brushes. Six is to care for your pillowcases. I change my pillowcases one to two times a week because they collect dirt, especially like, you know, if you have oily hair and you're sleeping on it and then your face touches it, that's more oil for your face. So you wanna make sure that you are switching out your pillowcases regularly just keep them on rotation and when you wash them use a very gentle like don't use gain don't use tide use a non-toxic um, for your pillowcases and I do this for my pillowcases and my sheets and my comforter um, so make sure that you're taking care of it that way because you don't want any of those chemicals to get in your skin seven is to watch what you put in your hair this kind of goes hand in hand with the pillowcase thing but if you aren't washing your hair regularly, if you're letting it get super oily and super greasy, um, it does touch your skin, which can cause breakouts, especially right here along your cheek and along your hairline. So you wanna make sure that you are washing your hair and keeping it clean and watch what you put in your hair. If you are getting breakouts, you know, around here or around here, it might be something that you're putting in your hair. So maybe try switching it out. Especially if you're like me, I like um, hair oil. I love to put hair oil in because they get a little frizzy. If you are getting breakouts and you don't know what's causing it, you've tried everything, maybe try switching up your hair routine. And number eight is diet and exercise. This means trying to stay away from dairy, sugar, um, high glycemic food, fast food, like super greasy food. But um, I always notice a change in my skin if I have like a weekend where I'm eating ice cream or cookies and I'm just like a bunch of sugar I always notice by Monday morning I start trying to get some breakouts so I'm really keeping track of like what I'm eating I don't eat dairy but the sugar does it for me it will definitely cause skin problems for me you want to try your best to eat as clean as you possibly can lots of veggies if you're craving sugar um, you can make homemade ice cream by with frozen bananas and peanut butter and almond milk and, uh, drink green tea drink probiotics take probiotics like kombucha is really good um, so you want to make sure that you're eating as clean as you possibly can because what you put in your body really has it takes a really high toll on your skin and you'll notice I, I always hear all the time when people start eating more vegetables the first thing that they say is oh my gosh my skin cleared up so much so it really does help number nine is so cliche again but it does need a number of its own and it is to drink lots of water and it's just good for your skin overall it's not even really for breakouts it's like if you are feeling dehydrated your skin is gonna look dehydrated your skin can get dehydrated and it causes like fine lines if I notice that I've been drinking water I get a tiny line right here and when I'm hydrated it's just completely gone so it's crazy the effect that water takes on your skin number 10 is tea tree oil I, whenever I'm starting to get a pimple or I see a little bitty red spot starting to form, I get a Q-tip, dilute it with some tea tree oil, I put it on, and it's literally gone the next day. Someone told me about this trick like three months ago, and oh my gosh, when I used to have really bad breakouts, I would have a cluster of like six pimples right here, and I would get a cotton pad with tea tree oil, dilute it dab it, and they would be gone the next day. It's the weirdest thing, but definitely give it a try. Just know that it is toxic to dogs, so make sure that if you sleep with your dog, she's on the other side of the bed, out of the room, um, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your animal away from the tea tree oil. Hey, right, those are my 10 tips and tricks. Sorry if you saw me looking over here, I've got my, my laptop because I wrote them all down, I didn't wanna forget anything, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I kind of flew through it, but you know, I don't want you guys to sit here through a 20 minute long video when I could get right to the point and if you want to know more about each of these topics, definitely do some research. These tips and tricks might not work for everybody, but they work for me and it's something that I live by all of these things. So, you know, if you are having skin issues, maybe just give some of them a try. Maybe try one by one. I want you guys to know that I know how it feels to like 
not feel like yourself and having your skin hinder you from going out and doing things and feeling embarrassed. I can honestly say that my skin has just completely cleared up and I will say that my Curology I have been using for um, three months now and ever since using this with this, um, I think this really helps lock it in and um, open my pores, put on the Curology, close my pores. I don't know, I think that's what did it for me, but I do live by all 10 of these rules. Take care of your skin, take care of your body, try to follow these as best you can and I know there's so many other things out there that are great for your skin. I would actually love to hear your tips and tricks in the comment section just so we can all learn from each other. I used to wash my pillowcases with Tide, I mean with Gain, and then someone in the comment section was like, hey, you should use non-toxic, da 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 and I was like, oh my god, that makes total sense. So, you know, I love that we can all learn from each other when it comes to skincare and how we all take care of our skin. You know, something that I say might not work for you, but, you know, somebody might mention something in the comment section and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna do that and it might work for you. So, comment below. But, I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you love this. Hope you took something from it.